So, uh, Joanna, you know what day today is, right? A special anniversary for you. Uh, yeah, it is. What, what was four years ago we today? Have, I know what was four years ago. My debut, UFC debut. Yeah. Guys, yeah, that's true. But uh, today's a very special day because I don't know if you have it in in the in US, but in Poland, when you're getting older, you celebrate your uh, name. It's like a birthday, but your name birthday. So it's my mom name name birthday you say I don't know how you call this in English but uh, all the best mommy I love you so much that's the most important thing but yeah I remember four years ago I was wishing my mom all the best uh, from the UFC octagon that's amazing I got emotional four years ago it's been a while <laughs> is it, uh, I mean is it, it's been such a long journey you've gone through so much in these four yeah. years I mean are you surprised almost to see what you've gone through and where you are now Man, solid legacy. I, I built, I built like a castle in last four years. Uh, 10, 11 fights. It's, it's going to be 11. my eleventh fight. Uh, eight fights for the UFC strawweight belt. It means a lot. It means a lot. And all of the other strawweights, they can talk and say whatever they want to say. But all of them, they don't have. If you put all the, if you put. Uh, all of them together, yeah, they don't have that big legacy like mine, so that's the point. Is that nice, you know, you just feel like you're in a position, it seems like you're kind of free and not worried about, you know, any of that outside stuff, you feel comfortable with what you've done, so does that make it easier for you to move forward and just kind of continue with your career knowing what you've already accomplished? Of course, I know who I am and I know who I want to be and people cannot define my fighting career or my last last two fights. I will remind you one more time, I've been in this business for 15 years and I'm, I'm saying this, I'm telling this to people who don't know, who, they, who watch only my last two fights, but I've been in this business for 15 years. I did 100 Muay Thai and, and Muay Thai fights, few kickboxing and boxing in this. Six times world Muay Thai European champion, five times uh, Muay Thai European champion, six times world Muay Thai champion. Uh, like I said, the very dominant champion for almost three years in the UFC. It means a lot to me. If some, if for someone it's nothing, I don't care. I, like I said, I know who I am uh, in this business, outside this business, and I know who I want to be. And that's the most important for me. Like, like you can see, I'm enjoying my life uh, more than I'm used to. And uh, with physically having a belt or not, I'm still a champion for myself, to myself and for so many people. And here in Canada, I feel very special because people talk to me all the time and uh, they talk to me on the streets every day. So many people and this is what I appreciate and, and I, will, I will dedicate this fight for all of these people who believe, believe in me. I feel like some fans have had short memories about what you've accomplished. Maybe they've already forgotten. That's the, that's the point, but like I said, I don't care. Like this world is crazy right right now. It's easy to hate on people. I'm not doing this. I, I don't care. Like I said, you can say you can like even turn your head and say something to your colleague about me, and I'm not gonna care. You know, I will not call to the Russians and let them send the bomb on my head. You know, but the thing is that. Uh, uh, I know, I, I know who I am, and, and, and that's the point. I don't care about what people are saying, and uh, I know that people have dreams and goals. Uh, but it's not only ha about having this. This is what I said yesterday. It's all about chasing the dreams, putting on work. That's why I'm back so fast. Three months after my last fight. Taff told me that a lot of people who have stopped you on the streets have been young women and, and, and girls. Is that yes. important to you? That it's yes, it is. And actually, guys, you know, like people who work at the at the office, and the thing is, like, we don't follow you. See? We follow you on Instagram because you sh you 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 proving to us that it's worth it to to. To have a dreams, have a goals, set the goals, uh, and, and work so hard, and, and that's the point. And never give up. Like I say, like you can slow down because we all can get tired, get sick of something, situation, and situations, different situations in our lives. But 
you know, we cannot never like stop and give up, you know, we should keep on moving forward and this is what I'm doing. That's why people hate on me, because they are jealous, jealous of me smiling, wearing a Rolex, but I always say don't be jealous, motherfucker, just work your ass hard and earn this shit, you know, earn this shit. I used to, when I became a UFC champion, I was working at my parents' store, at the grocery store, I used to sell veggies and, and fruit and, and people were like, you became a, a, a champion of the biggest like an MA organization. I was like, I don't care. I love to do this. And I want to uh, work my ass even harder than before. And this is who I am. People don't see this, but this is who I am. That's the point. What did you learn from the, the, rest, the past two fights? What I learned? That I should be more disciplined and trust myself even more, uh, more even more than I used to trust. And and I, reali I realized how many experience I've got for last 15 years and, and the, the knowledge so I keep eye on everything ask my manager my coaches we talk about everything we make changes changes every day with my nutritionist or uh, my, my manager who is my cousin it's not easy to work with me now anymore you know because I know what I want and if you bring me bullshit to the table I'm, I'm not going even to talk to you and, and that's the point you can be my family my friend but I know what I want and like people who where my friends? They did their mistakes. They made a big mistakes, but I had to pay the ultimate price. And I never let, I, I never gonna let anyone do this anymore, you know. But I'm very happy. I surrounded with good people, only good people. I'm very blessed with American top team, Cattle Kubis, Mikey Brown, Daya Davis. And it's amazing. It's a good spot to be. I got closer with my family and my friends. This is what I'm mother about. And, that's the point. Are you keeping an eye on the flyweight division? And uh, if so, how do you feel about the Shevchenko Matanya fight? How do you see that going? I'm happy for Shevchenko. She's a very tough, uh, tough fighter, and, and I think she will win this belt very easy. Uh, I will see. I wanted to move up, but I spoke to Dana. He 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 sees me in the strawweight division and taking the, taking this belt uh, back. So this is what I'm going to do for myself, for Dana White, for the UFC, because this is my spot. This is my division. But after that, probably. I will move up. Uh, like I said yesterday, my coaches, uh, they they know that I'm better, I'm more powerful, more strong, I'm better fighter when I'm weighing 125, when I'm weighing 130, uh, I'm better fighter. Strawy division is not my natural division, but I'm doing this. And uh, this is what happened before the first fight with uh, Ross Namalinas. They were like, that, that my weight that was an excuse, but was not. I did my weight. I did 14 pounds in one night. I had my fight two, two nights before the, the main fight, which was uh, n the November 4th at the Madison Square Garden. So, guys, I am a real warrior. I take my job very serious. So, I always uh, take care of my business from the beginning till the uh, till the end but I'm on weight like I said this morning I hit fasted cardio I eat well I, I'm still drinking water uh, today I will eat for the whole day and I, I'm just pumped over I will wake up on weight tomorrow morning that's the point we know you and I'm I'm very disciplined about that and that's why I'm here happy and relaxed and, and pumped for Saturday. Has Dana said that if you win this fight, you'll get the title shot? I cannot tell you. It's between me and him. It's his birthday tomorrow, so I must win for Dana White and, and make him uh, smile because of my victory. So uh, you will hear that very soon. I haven't really heard you talk much about the fact that Tisha and Rose have trained together a little bit for this fight and that Rose said yesterday the coaches have like shared some tactics and stuff. What do you just make of that entire situation? It means that I'm such a tough because they have to they have to get in groups in gangs to prepare for the fights uh, with me. So that's the point. It, it, I appreciate it. I appreciate it that they have to learn from each other how to try to beat you, Anna. But they can do this, you know. And that's the point. And they can like. Karolina Kowalkiewicz did the same. She went to my old gym to train before the fight with Claudia Gadea. Uh, Rose was training with someone else. Someone was training with someone. Tisha is training with Rose. I don't care. Uh, it means a lot to me. It means that I'm the, the baddest chick on the planet. Thank you, girls. It's flattering. Yeah, it is.